Hi guys, Jeanette Silhouette here with you today. And I would like to start a little series on frugal tips of the day or of the week or of the month. I'm not sure how often I would do them, but I would like to share some of the frugal things that I do, being that I'm out of work right now and there's certain things that I have to really make sure that I cut back on and that I do a little differently. So this particular tip of the day is about pre-wash shout type products that advertisers have specifically made you feel that you cannot live without. I kind of am the type of person that kind of, I don't want to say I, I, I necessarily resent that, but I don't like advertisers trying to tell me that I have to have a certain product and ingraining me into thinking that I can't live without it. So this is one of those products that I can definitely live without. Because the way that I do it is I take my laundry detergent and I <coughs> pardon me, mix it with water to a consistency that is very much like what you would find in a pre-wash spot treatment product. And I make it that consistency by adding enough water so that it will in fact squirt through a squirt bottle. So this is my little, <laughs> this is my pre-wash spot pre-wash thingy that I use. I have found that it works just the same as buying a a bottle of, I hate to just name a company, but a pre-wash, pre-spot type product that is in a squirt bottle. They will say right on there to make sure that you test it in an inconspicuous area of whatever garment that you're trying to use it on. I would say the same thing with this. Um, you would think, well, it's your laundry detergent, so why would you worry about it? Well, you're concentrating it on one spot, so you want to make sure that you're not, uh, you just want to be careful to make sure that you're not going to, I don't know, ruin something. I never have. <laughs> I've never ruined anything by doing it this way. And this works just as well as anything that I've ever tried to buy pre-wash spot-wise. And how much does a bottle of that stuff cost? For me, it's saving money and, you know, I'm not having to, I don't have to have it <laughs> because I've made my own. I've also used a bottle like this before, too, where it's not a spot, I mean a squirt bottle, but where I can, you know, maybe even come out of it, <laughs> um, you know, kind of even concentrate on a bigger area instead of squirt, 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 squirt. But I use both, and they're both my concoction. I'm sure I'm not the first person to think of this. Um, it was my idea to myself, but I'm sure other people have thought of that idea. But it really is something that works. You just take your laundry detergent and you pour some of it in a bottle and you dilute it with water and dilute it with a, a lot of water, enough water to where it's thin enough to where it would squirt through a squirt bottle. And you've got your own homemade pre-wash spotter stuff. Um, there are some people out there, I've watched several videos that of people that make their own laundry detergent. I might be trying that once I run out of, because I'm by myself, a bottle of that lasts me a very long time. But when I run out of it, I am really considering trying to make my own. Um, and and then, of course, I would take from that and make my own pre-wash stuff with it. I don't know how well it works. People do say that it works very very well, people that have made their own um, laundry detergent. Of course, they'll do that with either Zot or both Napa washing soda and borax. And there's a there's videos, all kinds of videos out there uh, for the recipe for that and how to do that. That might be next on my agenda. But anyways, I thought that I would like to start this little series of giving you some of my frugal tips, some of the things that I have to do right now at this point in time in my life. And um, I'm not squawking about that. I'm not squawking about where I am. Um, it's just, you know, there there are 
times of plenty and there are times of, you know, when things have to be more lean. And um, this is just one of those periods in time for me. I have several tips for you that I would love to share in this series. And um, so I hope that you'll join me, even if you are the type of person that, you know, oh, I would never do that. You know, maybe I'm interesting to watch just because I like to watch a lot of you because you have such a different lifestyle than I do. And it's interesting to me. And like I always like to say, it takes all kinds of people to make a world. And I appreciate everyone for wherever they are in their life, for wherever they might be financially or, or whatnot. I try to respect everyone for who they are and where they are and be grateful for what I do have. And uh, so, anyways, I would like to say that I think that in all honesty, my personality, if I, like, actually won the lottery or got an inheritance suddenly that I wasn't expecting or whatever, I would probably do things the same, a lot of things the same. Um, because I think that I, I, I don't, I get more of a lift I get more of an uplifting feeling, feeling like I have saved and done something like that, and rather than getting a lift from actually buying stuff. And, you know, I mean, it's fun to shop. I'm a girl. I get it. But um, I also get a lift when I feel like I've sort of kind of, um, I don't know, cheated is the right word, but when I've, when I've done something... And, you know, you know, something like this where I know that I don't have to buy that and it's really no big deal to make it. So, so, so if I was, I would probably still do a lot of things the same. I'm not going to say that I probably wouldn't buy things out of convenience just because I can or try stuff, trying stuff, shopping, all that is fun. But at this point in my life, this is where I'm at, and this is some of the things that I that I need to do and um, that I actually want to do, because that's just how I am. I like to I like to feel like I've saved a bundle by doing something myself. I hope that I'm not like sounding like I'm rambling, and I hope that I'm explaining myself well. Anyways, that's one frugal tip something simple maybe maybe three quarters of you do that already I don't know but um, uh, there's again several things that I'd like to share and I want to thank you for joining me today I also want to thank you guys the other day I was kind of in a downer mood I'd like to do a uh, maybe a video about that at some point in time but I appreciate you guys watching that and um, yes I did find the the silver lining and all that that day was that that was the first day that I had actually seen Robins. And so it was so cool that there was so many of them. It wasn't just, you know, like you'll see just one and you'll be like, oh, there's a Robin. It's spring. I had a yard full, a ton. And some of those will probably stay here around the area. And some of them will probably still be flying north to some of you that are Farther north than, than what I farther north than what I am. I'm in Michigan, so um, uh, you know the robins are on their way. Anybody that is north of there, up here. Anyways, uh, is that all that I wanted to say? Yeah, I just wanted to thank you for encouraging me that day. I didn't even want to be on camera, but I knew that I had not vlogged in a really long time, and I I wanted to uh, I wanted to put something out there. And, um, so anyways, um, one of the next, uh, videos coming up soon, I would like to share with you some of the things that, the reason why I'm out of work right now, what I was doing just prior and, and just like to sh share some of my life with you. And I appreciate you tuning in and, uh, being, you know, being very kind and being there and, and being very understanding. So. All right. I guess that's all I have to say for now. And 
God bless everybody. And remember, it takes all kinds of people to make a world.